Hello everyone, my name is Miss Jen. Today, I'm going to teach the last chapter of 4.5, which is Mathematical Modeling. So, what is Mathematical Modeling? It is a representation of a system or scenario that is used to gain qualitative and or all quantitative understanding of some real world problems and to predict future behavior. So, in the simple terms, we apply our mathematic knowledge in the real world situation to solve the problem. So, there are a few of important components in mathematical modeling. Our first step is identifying and defining the problems, which means we need to pull out the main problem. Second step is making assumptions and identifying variable. It helps us to understand the relationship between equation better. Our third step is applying mathematics to solve problem. We use our mathematic knowledge like formula that we have learned before in form 4 or form 5. Verify. Step 4 is verifying and interpreting the solution in the context of the problem. So we need to test our models or equation. Is it to solve the problem in the real life? Our fifth step is refining the mathematical model. Choose the most suitable model for the situation. And the last step is reporting the finding. We need to do a report to report our findings in step one to step five. So for question one, Fatima traveled 405 km on 45 liters of petrol in his car. If Fatima wishes to go to a place which is 198 km away by car, how much petrol in liters does he need? Solve this problem through mathematical modeling. So our first step is identifying and defining the problems. So from the question, we can see that Fatima wishes to go to a place which is 198 km away by car. And we know that the farther we travel, the more petrol we require. Thus, the amount of petrol varies directly with the distance we travel. So the main problem is we need to determine the volume of petrol required for 198 km. And our second step is making assumption and identifying variables. So our assumption is assume that the driving speed for both 405 km and 198 km routes are the same. And our identifying variables is x is the distance and y is the amount of petrol required. So for next step, we need to apply our mathematics to solve the problems. So from the question, we know that y, which vary directly with x, hence y equal to kx, where k is a constant. So for this formula, you can refer to chapter 1, form 5. So 5 is 45, x is equal 405, and we substitute the number inside. So y45, x405. And then we will get k is equal 1 over 9, 1 per 9. So we know that k is 1 per 9, then we do it again. Stand formula, just that our x is 198. Because Fatima need to go to the destination which is 198 km away right so we need to put x is equal to 198 so our final answer is 22 liters and then our next step verifying and interpreting of the solution in the context of the problem so we may not be able to use the linear function model y equal to 1 per 9 in all situations. Okay, you may ask why is it? So I explain to you right now. For example, 
if 405 km road is through towns and cities and the 198 km road is through highway. Thus, the car will use up petrol at a faster rate in the first route compared to the second route. Because our first route is go through the towns and city, right? So it may use up the petrol faster. So when this is translated to the real world situation, the linear function model obtained is not suitable to solve this problem. So whenever a new problem comes up, we need to use a new solution to deal with it. Our fifth step, refining the mathematical model. So in this problem for this question, we are not able to refine the model due to the limited information given. Our last step, report the finding. Okay, report the findings of the problem solving based on the interpretation of solution as shown in the preceding session. So our finding is Fatima requires 22 liters of petrol to travel to her destination which has 198 km. For question 2, Abu wants to travel a town and to attend a meeting. He can either drive by himself or take a bus to reach there. The distance from his house to the town is 260 km. His average driving speed is 100 km per hour and the bus average speed is 70 km per hour. So which way would he use to? So it's still using the same step. Our first step is identifying and defining the problems. So we can from the question, we can identify the problem is the distance from Abu house to town A is 260 km. His average driving speed is 100 km per hour. And for the bus, average speed is 70 km per hour. Then we need to define our main problem. So our main problem is we need to determine the best way to travel to town and to attend the meeting by considering the time. Our second step, making assumption and identifying variables. So our assumption is assume that the cost to town A is the same, which means we go to town A by car or by bus, the costs are the same. And then we can identify our variables. D equal to the distance from Abu House to Town A. And for S1, the average driving speed of Abu. S2, the average driving speed of the bus. And for T1, the time that will take to arrive Town A by car. And for T2, the time that will take to arrive Town A by bus. Okay, our next step is apply mathematics to solve the problem. So our formula is time equal to distance divided by speed. So for our car, car distance is two distance are the same, 260, but the speed is different. So it's divided by 100. So we will get 2.6 hours to travel to town A. So for our bus, it will be 260 divided by 70. So 70, this is the speed. And our final answer will be 3.7 hours to travel to town A. So it will take a much more longer time than compared to car. Step 4. Verifying and interpreting the solution in the context of the problem. So between these two methods, whether using by bus or by car, it will depend on the people whether they want to save their energy or save their time. So if you use bus, you will save their and you save your energy because you don't have to drive the car by yourself, but you will take up your time. But if you use car, you will save up your time, but it will consume your energy to drive the car. Our fifth step. Refining the mathematical model. In this problem, we are not able to refine the model due to the limited information given. So, last but not least, report the findings. So, 
it will take about uh, 2.6 hours to reach town and by car, but it will be tiring. And the other way, Abu reached town and by bus, but it will take 3.7 hours. And our conclusion, by learning this topic, we are able to develop thinking skill to solve real life problems using mathematical modeling in our daily life, model the real problems as mathematical problems and solve that mathematically. Thus, careers that apply this skill will be engineer, scientist, and data analyst, and there are few careers also. So that's all for me for today. Thank you for hearing at the end, and thank you for support our YouTube channel. This is our last video. If you like our channel, please like and share to your friend and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.